What is up, my dudes? Offbeat Gaming is back with more Chernobylite. Now, for tomorrow, Olivier will have a gun, which should increase his survivability, which means that he should have a higher success rate with other missions, and I won't need to just keep him at the base. I was really kind of hoping those medical supplies would have helped out to some extent, but I guess not. I was kind of hoping that maybe we could present the option to patch him up. I guess he's just stuck that way. Oh, no, uh, no night terrors? <coughs> okay. I wonder if I keep that door locked. Anybody there? Answer the radio for once, you cocksuckers! This Hi. is fucking important! Come on! Don't leave me standing here with my dick in my hand! Who is this? Who is this? Are you retarded? It's your fucking landlord, scrote! By the way, how are you enjoying your stay, Mr. Kimenyuk? Mikhail, I'm in the middle of something. Glad you like the place. I hope you leave it in the same pristine condition you found it. You got a real bargain, you know. But now we need to talk business. Anton and Olivier around? Anton is... He was killed. Oh my, uh, what a pity. Yeah, he was such a nice guy. Yeah, perhaps too fucking nice. Yep, I bet my last cigarette that's what got him killed. I don't think so. What do you want, Mikhail? I need you to return the favor and help me wipe the NAR database. And before you start bitching about it, I know you're not that kind of scientist. I'll walk you through the whole thing. I should okay. use any opportunity I get to hurt NAR. Okay, I'll do it. That's my brave lad. Head to the building in the Duca complex. I'll be in touch. Alright, well I guess I gotta do his shit, which means uh, hopefully Olivia can collect today's supplies. God, you guys have it so good, don't you? <laughs> this gardening, can I actually harvest this? Why is this here? Or is that just for decoration? It might just be for decoration. I overheard your conversation with Mikhail. Don't tell me you're actually going. Mikhail is a bit off, but he's not wrong about crippling NAR. It could buy us some time. He sounds like a sociopath. Do you trust him? No, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to deal with him. We only need him because of this warehouse. Right now, he looks more like a liability than an asset. On the other hand, you might discover something important. I don't know. Nah, it's too risky. You should ignore him. I think I'm going to go along on this one thing, and see how it goes. I strongly advise against that. I know his type. He probably eats his Wheaties with cocaine in the morning. Thank you okay. for those wise <laughs> words of wisdom. Let's table this discussion for now. What's our next move, boss? Alright. Yeah, so you've got armor and a weapon. So your combat and resistance are great. I think you'll be set up just fine. Change the influence of your decisions, the progress you're making. If you see, you see more helicopters in the sky, more NAR patrols in the field, better prepare for combat. You are bound to meet more soldiers with better equipment during your mission. If you can see more Chernobyl around the power plant, the chance of encountering more and stronger monsters increases. Hazard time also affects the inclusion zone. It becomes much more and more radioactive, increasing the amount of Chernobylite particles in the air, increasing the frequency of Chernobylite storms. Build special machines in the zone to counteract these forces of nature or even completely reverse them. Alright. Yeah, so now he's got a chance at, uh, a 73% chance, which is above positive for missions. So I could send him to the Red Forest and get food, which is going to be a must. 
I will do the Moscow Eye. Okay. Yeah, chance of success, 73%. Yeah. There's a lot of food drops, apparently. I wish I had more people, because if I had more people, I could do more missions, I could get more supplies a lot more quickly. Like, do if you I could... really trust Mikhail? Perhaps you just want to follow the crazy and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Once you cross that bridge, there's no turning back. The NAR will have you in their crosshairs. You don't know that. For all you know, that's exactly how I win this war. This war that I just now made up because, quite frankly, I'm two people versus an army. But it's a war, damn it. Lockpicks. Fuck, I didn't look into that at all. Fuck, 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 fuck. And I probably should have blown up the Duga radar. I probably should have blown up the Duga radar. All right. Tatiana Amalieva, take you, Igor Kimunik, as my wedded husband, and I promise you love, honor, and respect to be faithful to you and not to forsake you until death do us part. Just random grave, okay. Those vandals. I just need to catch my breath. Uh, shouldn't we be running from the monster? What? <laughs> Don't worry. That was just a ruse to get past these brutes. Really? It almost cost you your life. Audendum est fortis adiubat ipsa venus. What is that, Latin? What does it mean? It means you should have paid more attention in school, citizen. Now go. Before a real monster shows up. Okay. Well, I still like to think I did the right thing there. Psyche took a pretty bad hit. That's okay, we can make a little cook pot. Okay, I cannot make a cook pot, I need to find more flammables. But we'll get there. And I can make some purple soup and I'll be alright. Ba 
but I guess that's what I get for just kind of charging in under the assumption that the guy was actually in trouble and killing two dudes unnecessarily. Who knows, maybe I would have, uh, the whole circumstance would have just resolved itself if I'd left it alone. Well, hopefully I find the freaking locksmith. Locksmith again. Food ration. I realize that this was my mission. Well, good thing I trained my stealth, huh? I'm gonna need a lot of purple soup today. Uh. Have I ever mentioned that uh, stealth is never my strong suit? Unless the game actually has like mechanics in it that make it a lot easier to sneak around. I'm not very good at sneaking around. Mikhail, I've got the laptop. Tell me what to do. Great fucking job. 
type in www.heartisalonelyhunter.ru and press enter. Download the last file in the column, the one called Sweet Lonely Boy Will Meet Sugar Mom. Cool name, yeah? Execute the file and voila, you got access to their database. Unless you screwed something up. Next step is to get to the comms tower and strike the fatal blow. Hey, Igor. Before you rush off, look for some intel first. You want to find Tatiana, remember? Olivier is right. There must be something in the NAR database about Tatiana. Bark, no, you can't do that! If you start digging around, they'll lock you out, and we'll lose our shot at kicking them in the digital nuts! Remember, you still need to get to the comms tower and upload the actual virus. Can you provide some kind of distraction? Perhaps a fucking lootly. In fact, I've been waiting for you to ask. Um, can I make purple soup now? I can make a cook pot. Go ahead and build that. I need to make good soup. There we go. Purple soup. Not perfect, but better. <sighs> Hello, friend. Stop right there. You're on Pripyat Bradford term now. I'm... What? Where? Bradford. Privy at Bradford. You must be new here, huh? A tourist? What's your name? Oh, hardly. I moved here in 1985. The name's Igor. It was quite a different place back then. 1985. That's, um... Three, uh... Ten years ago. You know what that means, Igor? <laughs> You're one of us. Pribby and Bradfa. And Pribby and Bradfa rules. Really? How many of you are in this Bradfa? Um, there were many of us not so long ago, but it's just me now. I'm the boss. And you, you can be my right hand man. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. So, what happened to the rest of your pals? Uh, let me think. Sasha was arrested. Grisha was shot dead. Oleg fell down some stairs. Vova drowned in the river. And Aloysia was eaten by a crocodile. But... But there are no crocodiles in Pripyat. No, not a real crocodile. A crocodile. The drug. Uh, you mean desamorphine. No, I've heard about that stuff. It's basically poison. You should keep your guys away from it. What guys? I told you, it's just me now. Evgeny is all that's left. And, uh, you, of course. My second in command. We should celebrate with a drink, but the NIR confiscated my moonshine. But now you're here. Privy at Bradford will rebuild, and we'll hit those NIR bastards hard. They'll never see it coming. You can help me, friend. I'm looking for a woman. Her name's Tatiana Amelieva. Tatiana? Ah, a beautiful name. She sounds like a beautiful woman. Tell me, you have some photos? Uh, uh no. No, I, I had one, but, uh... Ah, uh, too bad. I've never heard of her. She's your woman, right? <laughs> ah, love. I was 
was in love once, Ksenia. Oh, what a woman she was. She promised to cut my balls off if I ever betrayed her. <laughs> and did she? What a funny guy you are. <laughs> I really like you. Nah, she didn't. She dumped me. But she said I was too smart for her. Uh, so, uh, anything interesting going on around here lately? Well, there's something fishy happening in the power plant. Those NAR fuckers have been running around like crazy lately. And there's this creepy fuck with a black mask hunting for something. Whatever it is, it's bad for business. He leaves me alone, but he scares my customers. So you do have other customers? What did I just say? That fucker's been scaring him away. If it wasn't for him, this place would be busier than the Ismailovsky market. You mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, you don't know? Duh. I sell boxes of loot. I never open them, so I don't know what's in them. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Duh. My loot boxes are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> That's deep. I know. Ksenia told me I was the biggest fasologier in our neighborhood. It's very simple. One food ration for one box of loot. One box a day. Igor, we just met, but I feel like I've known you for years. You're like a brother to me now. Have a free box of loot. On me. But don't tell anyone. It's a secret. A broad for secret. You mentioned something. What kind of thing? Sorry, Igor. I better be going now. Broad for forever, Igor. Alright, so does that mean I just open the box and see what's inside? First aid kit. That's good. I have four of those apparently, oh shit. Oh, apparently this will uh, fix my psyche. There you go. Then a little first aid kit. Good as new. Oh, that drains my psych. Shit. I feel like I was warned about that once. Well, wasted that waddle. Like, after seeing that happen, I feel like I was warned about that. Gotta keep investigating the question marks, though. They lead me to the clues that I seek. I'm still not sure what the upgrade of this thing did. Or if it was even worth it. I should have blown up the Duga radar. But again, there was no statement ever made that that was actually going to be a beneficial thing for me aside from hey here's a shot do it you won't no balls Oh, you're dead. I just robbed a dead guy. Oh, no, you're not dead. I thought that was a blood splatter. You're just drunk and passed out. <laughs> I feel like that might have a negative repercussion since he's not dead. this building again follow the 
loot respawns. Does that mean the room where I got my gun is respawned? Can I get more gun? Or is it not the same building, just a similar layout? No, it's the same building. gun down here. Can't set this to track enemy soldiers. Tell it's just you guys. So if I take one of you down, if I take down the guy that's just sitting, I can get the guy on patrol afterwards. Right? Or should I try and do it the other way? Nope, let's do this. <laughs> see his friend he's gonna see his friend he's on alert Someone whack Vladimir. What? Shh. nothing to see here just a cuddle puddle just a cuddle puddle gone wrong That went a lot better. Guys, we've got a situation here. HQ, I found a dead body. It's one of ours. whisper in the night.
here's what you guys do for work when you come back from Syria? Contact. Second floor. Don't let him get away. Jesus. Did he just blow himself up? God damn it, Mikhail! Mikhail! <laughs> I'm fine, <laughs> but uh, don't come near the building. I think the charges were too close to the chemical dump. What do you think is in those barrels? Fuck! Maybe you should call Gazprom's emergency line. <laughs> just get the hell out of there. Ah, don't worry about me. <laughs> just wipe the servers. Go to www.hardestalonelyhunter.ru, download Smelly Panties of Doom, and execute. I wish you could search the data, but you only get to enter a single command before it boots you out, so no typos. Fuck this maniac, Igor. Query the database while you've got the chance. <sighs> Fuck. I hate decisions. Um... <sighs> Wipe the data. It's done. I hope it hurts. One more question to investigate. All right, I'm gonna need the gas mask for a moment. Okay. That was worth my time. I hate locked doors, I hate locked doors, I hate locked doors. Zone the zone radiation is getting pretty high. I'm going to put this down to fix it. Alright. That being said, I don't know what else to do here. Ooh, 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 radiation bad here. What was that locked door that had a question mark last time? Fuck! Uh, anti rad.
health and psyche are a little hurting. I've not really found much food. I haven't really found a lot of anything. This has not been a very fortuitous foray into the zone. And I'm back where I started somehow. Hey dude, you still over here? I really should've just let you die. Can't climb that. I guess I'm done for the day. All right. Hey dude, you didn't see this. <laughs> I feel like I'm making all the bad choices. <laughs> like, there's no way that that was what I was supposed probably supposed to blow up the Duga radar. <sighs> I need more allies. I need. If I had more people, yes, I would need to spread out the food rations more, but at the same time, I could have someone go probably to each mission per day and rapidly increase my, my intake for resources. Excellent. Well, for that, you get to eat great today. We're going to give you a double ration because you're awesome. Yeah, we'll both have double rations. Great day for all. All right. Tell me how I fucked up, Olivier. You have a minute. Something you wanted to talk about? Someone. Did you know Anton has a daughter? Dasha? My god. He kept it from me for a long time. Even though we were friends, I did wonder sometimes why he didn't blow his pay on booze and women like the rest of us. He was putting money away for her future. For an education and stuff. He wanted her to have a better starting point in life. I've already decided that when this is all done, I'm going to find her and take care of her. But no one knows what the future holds, right? That's why I have a big favor to ask of you. If anything should happen to me, I'd like you to find Dasha and give her my pay. Please. Olivier, please don't talk like this. Once we've figured this whole thing out, you'll have plenty of opportunity to do that yourself. No. I really need you to promise me this. Anton deserves no less. I promise. Can we swap some stuff? Sure, but... Okay. So I need a lot more mushrooms for that one. Holy crap, that's so much power and the air quality doesn't even drop to negative. Yes, let's build this thing. Just tuck you down here under the stairs. We ain't gonna bother nobody. We have so much power now! Can I put an air washing unit on top of an air washing unit? Oh! You do grow!
quality of life is going to go down, but we do need more airflow. Sorry, I'll build you more lights. You like lights, right? There you go. Screw that TV. Better TV. <laughs> there you go. Look at that shit. Now who's living the high life? That's you, Olivier! You! Everything I do! All for you! You're my guy! Be comfortable. Rest that arm a bit. You know? Do it. Chernobylite throne! <laughs> You know, about to build up a wall, you have your own little fucking room here with your own TV. No one can even take that from you. You just crawl into bed and watch TV, you know? It's your space. That's not as nice a wall as I thought it was. There you go. That's what I had in mind. Nice little private area to watch your TV. Okay. I don't have the means of which to make the Terranobolite laser cutting tools yet, but I do know I'll have the power with which to withstand it when I do. Overall, the base is coming together. Make some shotgun shell. Nice. Alright, so this is probably where I'm going to call it. Uh, you know I didn't really accomplish much, and I probably made another bad decision, but you know, that's just part of the journey. Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta fuck up. You just gotta fuck up a lot before you get things right. Especially in a game that offers you the cho choice to make those choices, because you know those choices are difficult to make, and not everyone's always capable of that. But I am. Why? Because I hate myself. Uh.